Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we will discuss WAP architecture. WAP architecture is also called WAP protocol stack. WAP enables the access of internet in wireless domain like mobile devices. Basically, WAP provides the internet connectivity to the mobile phones. WAP is designed in a layered fashion so that it can be extensible, flexible, and scalable. WAP protocol stack is shown alongside a typical internet protocol stack. You can see that on the left hand side we are having an internet protocol stack which contain HTML JavaScript, HTTP, TLS SSL, TCP IP, UDP IP. And the next we are having WAP protocol stack. WAP protocol stack is divided into five layers. The first one is application layer, which contain WAE. WAE stands for wireless application environment. Second layer is session layer which contain WSP. WSP stands for Wireless Session Layer. Third layer is Transaction Layer, which contain WTP. WTP is Wireless Transaction Protocol. Fourth one is Security Layer, which contain WTLS. WTLS stands for Wireless Transport layer security. Next, we are having transport layer which contain WDP. WDP stands for wireless datagram protocol. And below that, we are having bearers like SMS, USSD, etc. So, on the left hand side, we are having internet protocol stack. And next we are having WAP protocol stack which contain five layers and there are other services and applications which can be there. So now we are starting with the WAP architecture. And the first layer we are discussing is WAE which is wireless application environment. It contains mobile device specification and content development programming languages like WML and WML script. WML script can be used for validation of user input. It is general purpose environment based on combination of World Wide Web, which is WWW, and mobile telephony technologies. WAE primary goal or objective is to achieve interoperable environment that allows operators and service providers to build applications that can reach wide variety of wireless platforms. It uses URL and URI. URL is Uniform Resource Locator and URI is Uniform resource identifier. These both things are used for addressing. Next we are having is WSP. WSP is wireless session layer which provide fast connection suspension and reconnection. WSP provides reliable and organized exchange of content between client and server. The core of WSP design is binary form of HTTP, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Capability negotiation is used to agree on common level of protocol functionality as well as to agree on a set of extended request methods so that full capability of HTTP applications can be retained. An ideal session can be suspended to free network resources and can be resumed 
without overload of full scale session establishment. WSP also supports asynchronous request. Hence, multiple requests will improve utilization of airtime. Next, we are having WTP, which is Wireless Transaction Protocol. WTP run on top of the datagram services like UDP. UDP is User Datagram Protocol. WTP offers transaction support. That's why the name given Wireless Transaction Protocol. WTP is part of TCP IP, which provide a simplified protocol suitable for low bandwidth wireless stations. WTP is defined as lightweight transaction oriented protocol suitable for implementation in thin clients. Each transaction has unique identifier, acknowledgement, duplicate removal and retransmission. Class 1 and Class 2 enable user to confirm every received message. However, in Class 0, there is no acknowledgement. WTP has no security mechanism and no explicit connection setup or tear down phases. Next we are having is WTLS, which stands for Wireless Transport Layer Security. WTLS is security protocol based on established industry standard TLS, which is transport layer security. The goal of WTLS are data integrity, privacy, authentication, and denial of service protection. It provides transport layer security between our WAP client and the WAP gateway or proxy. It has features like datagram support, optimized handshake, and dynamic key refreshing. Next we are having is WDP, which stands for Wireless Datagram Protocol. The WDP allows WAP to be bearer independent by adapting transport layer of the underlying bearer. It presents consistent data format to higher layer of WAP protocol stack, which gives advantage of bearer independence to application developers. WDP provides application addressing by port numbers, optional segmentation, reassembly, and error detection. It supports simultaneous communication instances from higher layer over a single underlying WTP bearer service. The port number identifies higher level entity above WDP. The adaption layer of WDP maps WDP functions directly onto a bearer based on its specific characteristics. On the GSM SMS, datagram functionality is provided by WDP. Next, we are having the bearers. WAP is designed to operate over a variety of different services like SMS, which is short message service, CSD, circuit switch data, GPRS, general packet radio service, USSD, unstructured supplementary services data. So that's all about WAP architecture. Thank you.